The Cavs are 9-0, and have a chance to go 10-0, and which would extend their franchise record start. The Browns are 2-7. and We know it's a Browns town, but Jason, can the Cavs turn Cleveland into a basketball city, or is that a dream too far-fetched? I think it has to the point it's ever going to be, and I've thought this for a while. LeBron created a generation of basketball fans in Cleveland that previously didn't exist. In the 80s, the Cavs were great. They had all the support in the world. But in the 90s, it was like a mausoleum yeah. when they built the, at the time it was called Gund Arena. But LeBron's presence here, his arrival in 2003, 2004, and his burst onto the scene created a generation of fans that carried over after he left. They, they lost 26 in a row and the place was sold out the year after he left and they beat the Clippers in double overtime and the place exploded like they were going to the conference finals. Cleveland, I believe, is very fortunate to have three towns, to have three teams in this town. It's really a city that should probably only have two professional sports teams. The fact they have three makes them fortunate, but because of the economy and just the reality where they are, it's difficult at times to support all three. When the Browns were gone in the 90s, the Indians sold out every single night. When the Cavs blew up, Guardians now, attendance has been suppressed. They got to 20th this year, still bottom half of the league. The Guardians are a good enough baseball team and they've been a good enough product. They should be in the upper half in the league in attendance all year. I believe the Cavs siphoned some of the attendance away. The Browns are the Browns. They're always going to be the top dog in this. That's just the way it goes. And the Cavs, since LeBron's arrival, have always probably been number two, regardless of what's going on at Progressive Field. And that's unfortunate for them because they should have more attendance. They should have more support. But I believe LeBron created a generation of Cavs fans and basketball fans in Cleveland that has carried over and will continue to carry over long after he's gone. Yeah, the, the crowds are at the you know Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse are electric. They they do well even when the team isn't expected to win a championship. I think they've taken another step. And now uh, people are going to see as the season continues to go on, hey, they might be in the level of, of what the Boston Celtics are. Uh, and if they can get a, a big win coming up the first game, I believe, later on uh, in the month uh, when they play the Celtics, I think that's going to add to it. I think it also helps the fact that, like you said, LeBron already bought the championship. They broke the curse. Um, and the in the Cavs actually have a bona fide superstar like that is on the roster bona fide here and the team is playing well I, I do believe that the Guardians have a, a bona fide superstar and uh, Ramirez but the way basketball works it's more visible it's more of a household type thing so if the Cavs can be good and this, this streak continues on especially if the Browns continue where they're at I think the Cavs can make some headway now the Cavs have no chance of making headway this will never be a Cavs town. This will never be a Guardians town. Uh, we all know this. The, Br Brown the Browns have been the, mo are the most miserable franchise since 99. Probably the worst franchise in sports. It, they were 1-31 in 31 and we held the parade for them. They're, you can't change. People were at two at, when they were one and six, people, I'm done, I'm done. They win one game. They look good against Baltimore. Hey, might go to the playoffs. Hey, they're going to the playoffs. <laughs> The Browns will never, ever, ever be surpassed in this town. You all know that. But yeah, but one thing about the Cavs, the yeah. crowd that we saw in Milwaukee the other yeah. night, the crowd you're going to see tonight in Golden State, I cover the NBA for 10 years. Yeah. It's rare to see crowds that excited, sold out into the game the way that they are in Cleveland in November. It's only about two or three basketball cities that they're going to rock and roll. You got the Knicks, you got the Celtics, and the, you got the Lakers.